Hello everyone, this is KD here. In this video today, I'm going to explain you about a very interesting fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk. But before proceeding further, I would like to tell you what is a fairy tale actually. A fairy tale is nothing but a children's story about magical and imaginary beings and land. A fairy tale is a story often intended for children that features fanciful and wondrous characters such as apes, goblins, wizards, witch, etc. A fairy tale is a story for children involving magical events and imaginary creatures. It includes prince, princes, monsters, etc. The protagonist, that means the real character of a fairy tale, fairy tale is never a superhero, never a fairy, and never a magical creature. Yes, fairy stories are about someone ordinary, someone seemingly unimportant, who then travels into an extraordinary realm of full of wonder and magic and fantastic beings. So this is what a fairy tale is. So I have told you what is a fairy tale actually. Now I am going to tell you about the different elements of the story. Before going into this poem, The Beanstalk, I would like to tell you about its origin and on what basis this poem is written. This poem is actually based on the story of Jack, the boy Jack and his enchanted bean. So I would like to tell you about the origin of this poem. Actually this is in a poem form but this poem is actually based on a story about the jack and his enchanted beans. So I am telling you about the origin of this story. It is a tale about climbing into the sky about the boy Jack and this story has been told for thousands of years in multiple countries but the first known written account of the story appeared in England in the 1730s in the form of a skit entitled Enchantment demonstrated in the story of Jack Spriggins and the Enchanted Bean. And since then, about the story of Jack and its bean has been retold, has been rewritten, has been modified again and again several times till its present form now. So this was the origin. Now let me tell you about the whole summary of the story Jack and the Beanstalk. First of all I am starting the whole summary, the whole story. So please pay attention and understand the story. If you can understand this story properly, then only you can understand this poem. 
otherwise it's difficult to understand this poem without understanding the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. So I am explaining the story, telling you the story. Please pay attention and hear attentively. The Beanstalk Jack and his mother live alone on a small farm. Jack is the protagonist. That's when Jack is the main hero, main real character in this story. Jack lives with his mother, who is a widow. They are very poor people. So that Jack and his mother live alone on a small farm. Jack was a good kid who helped his mother with cores. There's been different types of household jobs and other works. But the two of them were very poor and often didn't have enough to eat. The story begins with a poor widow with a son named Jack and a cow named Milky White. In some of the story, the cow Milky White has been referred as Bess also. Bess. And in some stories, this cow name has been given as Milky White. When Milky White stops giving milk, the woman, that's mean Jack's mom, decides to send Jack to market to sell the cow. She thought, when she is unable to give any milk, so how can she afford to feed the cow also when they don't have even enough food for her and her son. That's why she decided to sell the cow and she told Jack to go to the market and sell the cow milky white. Along the way, while going to the market, Jack meets a stranger who offers him a special deal. Let's see what special deal does this stranger give to Jack. The stranger was an old man who dressed up very strangely. He has long beard, big eyes, straight moustache, long hair. And he was looking just like a wizard. The stranger tells Jack a riddle and then offer five magic beans and told him that by morning they grow right up to the sky. In exchange for your cow, I can give you these five magic beans. Jack thought, what is the use of taking this magical beans in exchange of the cow? But the strangers told him about the benefit of the beanstalk and the magical power in it. And Jack's mind changes and he decides to give that stranger his cow the milky white whom his mother told to sell in the market. The stranger told Jack he will give him these magic beans in exchange for the cow milky white. Jack is not sure whether to believe the man. He asked the stranger if the beans are really magical. He assured him, yes, the man assured Jack that they are. So Jack take the beans and hands over the cow milky white to him and he heads back 
to home back at home when jack returns home what happens let's see when jack gets home his mother is surprised to see her son back so soon jack tells his mother mom i have met a magic strange man on the way and he offered me this magical beans so in exchange of the cow milky white i got this magical beans hearing this jack mother got shock jack tells his mother he has received this magical beans in exchange of the cow milky white she is sorely disappointed in the boy's lack of judgment in his decision and his foolishness and bursts into tears and she cries a lot jack feels sad to have made his mother cry and disappointed feeling foolish he tosses the beans out of his bedroom window in anger and he went to sleep that night the next morning jack awakens to discover a giant bean stalk has sprung up outside his window he saw a giant bean stalk had grown up to the sky the magical beans was very huge very tall its ending could not be seen it's looking like it's meeting the sky and stalk was hidden by the clouds the magic beans really walked he rushes outside and he was shocked to see the magical beans he was restless he was very curious to know what is up the magical beans so without thinking anything he rushes and started to climb he climbed up up the bean stalk until he reaches a new land with a castle of in the distance jack climbed the bean stalk to the sky where he found a house he found a new land with a castle of in the distance so jack had discovered a new world he could see a big castle up in the sky that was another world which he could not believe but it was always happening suddenly jack felt very hungry so exploring the new land jack encounters the giants over there he found a giant family where a giant and his wife were living jack knocked on the door and asked the woman who was inside whose voice he had heard from inside he knocked and asked for breakfast only the giantess was in the house at that time the giant has gone somewhere for some walk jack asked he knocked the door several times and asked hello is there anybody the giantess answered from inside who is there outside go away the boy said i am jack 
and I'm feeling hungry. Can I have some breakfast? The giantess tried several times. And he said, Jack to go away. But Jack was hungry and wanted to know what is inside the house. So at last the giantess felt pity on Jack. The giantess was a nice lady and didn't want to harm Jack. As she knows, her giant husband would kill the boy if he comes. So, she warned him to go away. But Jack kept on asking for breakfast. The giantess fell pity on Jack and allowed him to come inside her home and gave him breakfast. She told him to go away before her husband come. Just then the giant returned. When her husband comes, the woman quickly hides Jack in the oven and dismisses her husband's assertions that he smells a human. After the giant eats breakfast, he counts his gold and then falls asleep. While he sleeps, Jack steals a bag of gold as he leaves. And he went back to his home taking that bag of gold. The gold sustains Jack and his mother for quite some time. They had a good time by selling those gold and had good thing to eat and spent good time. But eventually it runs out. It started to finish and Jack must return to the beanstalk he thought to get more wealth. Once again he went up. He knocked up at the door and asked the woman for breakfast. The giantess opened the gate again out of pity and compassion. Once again the woman gave Jack some breakfast and once again Jack was forced to hide in the oven when a husband giant comes in. This time Jack watches as the giant commands a hen to lay a golden egg and he saw that that magical hen given golden egg. When the giant went to sleep, this time Jack steals the hen and ran away. The hen provides for Jack and his mother golden egg. But Jack was not satisfied. He wanted more, more wealth, more richness. So this discontent And curiosity in Jack forced him to return to the beanstalk and climb up and go to the giant castle again. This time Jack went up and he tries to steal something very important so that he didn't need to come again and again. This time Jack sees a golden harp. The harp was heavy and beautiful. The harp calls out. The harp take the Jack took the harp and as he about to leave the castle, the harp calls out to wake the sleeping giant. This time giant chases Jack to the beanstalk and begins to climb down and Jack run away, run down, climbing down with the help of beanstalk and very fast, very smoothly he was running down and Jack very soon reached the ground. 
but chasing him the giant was also coming down when jack reaches the bottom he thought of an idea if he catches these beans then the giant would not be able to come down he cuts down the bean stalk with an axe and as he cut down the bean stalk the bull the bean stalk falls and with he with it the giant also fall from a great height and reaching to the ground he meet to his death and he died jack and his mother become wealthy from selling the golden eggs and lived happily ever after so this was whole the story about the jack and the bean stalk i hope you have understood the whole story and liked it so keep on watching this video and goodbye